first time impression for Capture One. Now I've never used this before and recently I stopped using Premiere tools and I moved over to Blackmagic. Now I am a fairly new photographer and I'm gonna be going through Capture One for the first time. So there's no games here. Um, this is not sponsored or anything like that. Six days left on a seven day trial. I got it yesterday. And so I downloaded it to my system yesterday. I imported some, um, some files, about a hundred to start kind of trying to use it to see if it's anything uh, similar to Lightroom, which I'm also not an expert at at all. But what I wanted to do was try to use this for the first time. So I went through and I did some photos yesterday. And this is kind of a continuance from the Sony 70 to 200 F4. And you know, if you watch that video, then you'll understand what I mean by Sometimes people don't like that lens because of the lack of light. Here is one of the photos that I've already edited. I edited these earlier today. Um, these photos had good lighting. Um, you can see here that I'm at um, ISO 3200 on the A7C2, 4000 shutter speed, and an F4, which is the limitation, the limit of um, the amount of light that can come into that particular lens, the Sony 70 to 200 F4. Um, and I started doing high, uh, you know, shutter speed so that I could freeze the action. And um, that's something I've learned, you know, over the last month or two really is, is that. And so I've kind of been defaulting to that higher shutter speed but the problem with the lens that i have is when you default to that higher shutter speed you run out of lighting and so i'm going to share uh, this photo you can see that the edges are really sharp um i'm going to this is what it looks like if i take away the masks that i created so this was the that's the blank uh, or the 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 actual raw footage um as you see here arw is the raw format for for sony um and so that, you know, with the mask back on, that's the color grading that I did, you know, a nice little pop of color, you know, nice and clean and clear uh, or, or crisp photo, if you will. I'm learning it. It's very similar to uh, DaVinci Resolve and the fact that it has it separated by these little tabs at the top and you kind of go through it. I'm not an expert at all. So um, please jump in the comment section. Let's talk about this if you're using this because I have to decide within six days if I'm going to be purchasing this. For new new folks like myself, the most important thing that I found in photography, less than video, is lighting and whether or not the subject that you're trying to photograph is lit. And that's why people use flashes. And I never really understood, you know, that what I wanted to show is uh, all of these are raw photos, so these are straight out of the camera using the 70 to 200 a, uh, four, F4 uh, macro OSS2. I want to get to the photos where I run out of light, so like kind of like these areas right here. I want to share these photos with the coach, um, but and so I want to go to this area that was so freaking cool. It's this area right here. And these are raw photos so this is the there's you can see um there's no masks or anything like that uh, any layers or anything like that built on these photos so this is this area was just freaking cool like it was super sunny out it's the beginning of the morning it's 8 30 in the morning um when this race started and you can see that i'm having to because of the lens if i had an f 2.8 then i wouldn't have to lower my shutter speed but because I have that F4, I had to lower my shutter speed and that's where we start getting, you know, uh, a slower shutter, which 2500 isn't too bad. They're not jumping around. They're just driving straight forward at me um, at 145 millimeters. This would have been an amazing shot if they were already lit. Right. And so this is where Capture One comes in. The first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go subject, which should get these folks right here, which is Coach Williams. Um, and then I'm gonna raise the exposure on that. And I'm just gonna try to make the photo look good. And then um, from here, I'm gonna go to my background. Um, I want to, first I want to go and raise the colors. So I go to color editor here, I'll hit green. Um, I wanna raise the colors in, these, in, the, in the foliage here, the, the leaves, and I'll brightness up just a little bit. Ooh. Uh, this is a really dark photo um, and so that didn't do too much so now I'm gonna go back out to the actual image layer and I'm gonna raise the brightness in the image there we go and 
you'll start to see because this is a really dark photo so you'll start to see noise coming into the shadow areas if i if i you know raise that too much you see you know you see that noise now this lens um you, you can see all that noise um all the way up in there and um so let me go back down and you can see the noise start to dissipate there now in lightroom i would have used like anti-noise or whatever the heck it's called again i'm not professional so this is if you're new listen we're in the right place because we're gonna hang out together a lot there is um so when when i zoom back out you don't see the noise as much right and the, the photo is starting to be pleasing um i'm gonna go to people and i'm gonna try to raise coach just a little bit um but i'm gonna raise just on their skin in general i'll go down here and add a little bit of saturation to their skin another background mask and then for this mask, I'm just going to try to overall just raise that background just a little bit. My son finished 11th in this race. He's a sophomore, the first person. I already touched just a little bit. You can see I got a subject mask, which is him, background mask, and then a subject mask, a second one. And so for this one, I'm just going to raise the image just a little bit, play with this one a little bit just to get like I kind of wanted to have kind of a mystery type thing and I might even crop this that's all I'm going to do really for that photo I I'd struggle with this because I always I like dark moody photos but dark moody photos don't look good on Instagram and so I mean a lot of people will raise it that's all I'm going to do for this one but I want to go to the girls because this race was at 8:30 and I just I'm, I'm really trying to share my first impressions with light uh, with capture one and I'm also trying to share the difference um, with uh, with lighting with this particular lens the the next race which are the young ladies this is that place as the sunlight starts to come through it look how I mean look ooh, look how sweet this place is so I definitely hope that they run here again this year so that I can be more prepared for this. And so I'll do I'll do a follow up when I get to go shoot this particular area here again, because as that light started to come through, here she is here. So look at this just natural light, how it just kind of comes through that tree, the tree line and the foliage. And so Kai is right out front right here. And I, ooh, I can crop into that, but just look how that looks naturally. And so, um, for this, and this is a raw photo again. So for Kai, um, there's that. And then here's the background. Um, I don't want to, I kind of want to just raise the, the foliage a little bit. And these are all artistic, you know, you know, artistic decisions. It's not really a right or a wrong way to do that. But what I'm, what I did was raise kind of the greens a little bit and then I could lower the shadow I saw this photo yesterday I was like I gotta play with that one and and um, I can kind of put some shadows on there so then Kai really pops in this photo and then if I were to go to Kai and then go to people and I could really kind of now obviously there's a lot of ethnicities right in this photo so I mean I'm gonna be trying to edit for Kai not necessarily everyone so I mean uh, we'll see how that kind of works out on the photo um, again I, I'm not used to premiere yet so I don't I'm, I mean to capture one yet so I don't know how to spot here spot there spot all of that stuff I'm listen I'm main subject right now and um, and I'm a newbie for Kai's skin I'm just gonna uh, let's take away a little bit of highlights I'm gonna end up cropping this photo like kind of into here a little bit maybe um i don't know i don't know that's a sweet photo let me know would you crop all the way into them would you keep it wide and kind of have that kind of focal point because you got some leading lines with the path um i don't know you let me know but uh so let me go back to kai uh the people or that shadow real quick and then there we go that's much better because her face isn't like the the sunlight will wash out the skin color the skin tone color i mean whatever it is again that's all artistic you know i could crop into here i could i could crop in you know kind of something like that um but again the f4 
I had to adjust ISO, which introduced some noise, you know, into the picture, if you will. And I'm going to work on how, learning how to denoise. First impressions of Capture One. It was extremely confusing when I first opened it last night. Um, the the system, for whatever reason, I have a MacBook M, a Pro M3 chip. It did not do well at first when I first started using it. Like it was bogging down as I was first using it and for whatever reason today it's running really smooth so if you run across that your first time when you download and, and um and install it to your system if it's running extremely slow don't pay any attention i mean yet it, for example yesterday when i was importing the same a thousand photos i it would not it kept freezing so i only did like 130 so i just grabbed 130 and imported them because it was completely crashing my system and so that's why i have two uploads one last night of 1:30, yep and then the rest of them today because it was literally just crashing my system and um also when i first was opening these these um photos it didn't uh it they weren't to me i was like why are they share you know showing themselves like that it was almost like they weren't um showing up right on the screen i was looking at the previews of like the photos and they weren't showing in capture one the same as they were in the preview and so i don't again i don't know what any of that was it seems like it's all good today and i'm gonna play with this software this week it is sunday i have until friday i believe to make a decision that's payday <laughs> so on payday i will make the decision if i'm going to continue forward because i moved away from premiere because of all the fees and stuff like that and uh i just wanted to uh, pay one time fee like black magic have it done you get used to the I only need all the updates so just get used to the version that I have and go from there so if you're a capture one or premiere pro or uh, a Lightroom user let me know your thoughts on this below I'm excited to work with this this week I'm excited to finally it's it's season it's for it's photography sports photography season so let's get into it let me know your thoughts if you're new to the channel you enjoy today's content you enjoy just open conversations um consider subscribing joining the cozy coalition but as always stay cozy in that crazy world and i'll see you in the next video peace